everyone. So today's video is not going to be a vlog today. Instead, we're gonna be doing a three month baby must haves because I get so many questions asked about what products I recommend and all that fun stuff. So I kind of like sprinkling these videos here and there for you guys. I have definitely been testing out different products. So I kind of have like a good grasp on like what I think is definitely needed by three months. So before we begin this video, if you guys are brand new to my channel, hello, my name is Madison. I also have a beauty channel, which is Madison Miller here on YouTube. That is like my main channel. And then over here we do vlogs and mommy content. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and also ring that little bell if you wanna be notified for future videos. Usually just Monday through Friday over here. But let's just go ahead and get into these baby must haves. All right, so first things first, around three months, babies are spitting up they might even be getting ready to tease. So they're drooling a lot more and we don't like to change their outfits all the time. Like I was changing Riley's outfits so much and finally I whipped out my bandana bibs and these are a lifesaver. I bought so many of these you guys so I have a ton of different patterns but these are my favorite ones. These are from Copper Pearl. I recommend going to her website instead of going to Nordstrom's or Amazon to get them because she has way more variety on her website and they get to you a lot faster. They also have amazing burp cloths that I'm obsessed with and they come in like packs of three and stuff. I really love them. Those and Aiden and I ones are like my favorite, but I love her bandana bibs. They are so nice and thick and soft and they're so cute on the babies too. And they also don't sit weird on them either. There's some bandana bibs out there that definitely sit a little bit weird and these ones fit perfectly on her. So you guys usually see these in the vlogs and just look at how cute these prints are. They are absolutely adorable. You can get them in a big set of like three or I think maybe even like a set with bandana bibs and then they come with also burp cloths too. But I highly recommend these because these will save all those outfit changes because honestly, she'll soak one, we'll take it off and then we will go grab another one and put another one on her. Like we go through these like crazy. So I have a ton of them. I probably have like more than 20 to be honest, but they are definitely worth it. And they're gonna save you even during those teething times. Riley is not teething yet, thank goodness, but she is drooling and she still has a little bit of reflux with her, like spitting up, but that's what most babies do anyways. Definitely at three months. Right now she's four months, so I think this is like the time that they say is like the peak of the spitting up and stuff, and then it should like ease up a bit, but they're still gonna be teething, which they're still gonna be drooling a ton, so definitely get your hands on these. They are worth the price. All right, so now getting into some developmental toys. I really only have a few things here for you guys, so this is gonna be quite short, but this is really all that you need. So the first thing is the Kick and Play, which is from Fisher Price. It's like the deluxe Kick and Play. Oh, I love this thing. I highly recommend it. You can definitely introduce them to the Kick and Play earlier than three months, but definitely at three months, I think it's an awesome thing to have for them. I have gotten so many of my friends and so many of you guys hooked on it that you guys absolutely love it. They love it. Like I can set Riley down while like cooking dinner or something or doing dishes and she'll be fully content right there. And it plays really fun songs and it also grows with them through their development. It's also great for tummy time because on like the level one mode, it actually just plays songs and it lights up different keys. So it keeps their attention to like wanting to keep their head up. And then also it helps build their eye coordination because you want them to really be working on that too. So it's awesome. Use it for tummy time, lay down to where they can look at the mirror above them. Um, you can even eventually have them be sitting up and they're gonna try to hit the keys because you can move the keyboard up to where it rotates to it's like flat, you know, and they can like play with it. And then you can even take it off and they can start carrying it around with them when they start walking and going about the house. So that's what I like. It's gonna be a toy that's gonna stick with them for the first year of life. So you're definitely getting your money's worth. I believe it's like, 30, 40 bucks, so it's really not that expensive and you definitely get your money's worth on this toy. So I highly recommend that one. It comes in green and comes in pink. All right, so the next thing that I recommend is also one that honestly you can get before three months and this is all you need. This thing is awesome. I have talked about this quite a bit on Instagram. It's the Love Every Play Gym. And the reason why I love this one, oh my gosh, I love it so much more than my Skip Hop one that I have. And the reason why is because one, it has 
has like this little book thing that flips up and you can switch things out. You could put mirrors in there so that way they can get like a sense of self and start staring at themselves. And then you can also do high contrast pictures, which really grabs your attention right now because that's what the that's what they're really seeing. So you can switch those out. You can make more simple high contrast pictures or even more complex ones for them. And it's just awesome. So you can like set that up for them. And then also it has its little things coming down from the bottom, which is great because there's also not too much color and not too much going on. So you're not going to over simulate them because that's one thing you want to be careful with and. I definitely have read more up on it is that you don't want to overstimulate a baby because then they're going to be wanting that stimulation all the time. So you want to be careful with any screens. You want to be careful with the TVs, keep their eyes away from it because they're going to be wanting to have that stimulation all the time. And the only way that you're going to be able to get them sit still is giving them that screen or giving them that stimulation. And that's what you want to be careful of. So that's one thing I really love about it. It's only got three things. It's got the ball, which is a Montessori ball. So it's not completely round. It's got little divots in it so they can easily grasp it. And that will build their development of grasping. And then it also has the crinkle tissue like with the ring and stuff. And that's a cause and effect. So they hear it and it makes a different sound. And then you have a clapper with a ring as well, which is wooden. And again, cause and effect for them too. But one of my favorite things on the whole thing are the size of the play gym. The size of the play gym are awesome. They have like different textures, different sounds. They have like, it's like a soft book, but on a play gym. And I think that is so cool and so awesome for them that they're going to be using this their first year of life and it's going to be amazing for them also you even have this little um tent part that you can put on and it makes it like a little play tent for them so out of any play gym i highly recommend this one honestly save your money on the other ones because i think my skip pop one was a hundred dollars this one is 140. i also have a 10 percent off link for it it's not a code or anything you have to purchase it through that link and i believe it makes it 10 percent off let me know if it doesn't but i'm pretty sure it does I will have that link down below for you guys but it's the best thing like it's only 40 bucks more than a skip hop and you get way more bang for your buck on this thing and it's way better for their development so I highly highly recommend it and also the legs of the top are wooden like it's a good substantial play gym that is by far the best thing I've ever seen. So I highly recommend that you guys. They also have a subscription box as well that you get every two months because it does like three to four months, five to six months. And it tells you what they should be working on during that time of month and what you should be keeping your eye out for like what developmental milestones are gonna be achieving and how to achieve them and how to work with them. So I love the play boxes. Those things are also amazing, but if you guys don't wanna like splurge on the play boxes, definitely splurge and get the play mat. It is the best thing ever. I'm telling you, you will see and you'll be like, oh my God, yeah, this thing is worth it. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna recommend is a bumbo seat. So these are those little kind of sit me up seats that they can start practicing holding themselves up because around, She's at four months right now, but they can start using it at three months. And it just kind of helps building up that strength for them. But you definitely want to be supervising them at all times. Do not set it on any couches. Do not set it on anything. Just set it on the ground. Be with them there. Kind of help them hold themselves up and then kind of see how how well they can do it on their own and then look for their cues of when they're done so don't push them with it but i know i've also heard things about that people are saying it's bad for their back and stuff i honestly have not dug a whole lot into that but i have seen a huge difference with riley she's definitely getting stronger and she's able to hold herself up better i first got her the fisher price sit me up which i believe was like 40 bucks or so and I have to say that I recommend the Bumbo seats, which are, I think also 30 to $40. I got it mine at Target because I saw it there and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give this a try. And I love the Bumbo seat way more than the Set Me Up because there's a lot more of a structure there and it holds her up better and just kind of helps teach her it a lot better. So I highly recommend that one over the Set Me Up. Just put them in it a few times a day and then take them out when you see that they're getting tired. But I think it's awesome to help them build that strength. And that's one thing that we're really working with Rye right now is building that strength up, especially in her left side, because like I said before, in the womb, she was really crammed. This little girl was long. We all knew that. When I was talking about getting the kicks up in the like top right ribs, that was her feet. She was crammed in there. 
And so when she was crammed in there, she was actually crammed and favored this one side. So she favors her right side. So her right side is stronger than her left. And that's where we're working on getting her through and getting the other side stronger. So that's why we constantly work with her on the tummy time and then also the bumbo chair. So I've definitely have seen a huge improvement with the bumbo chair. So I highly recommend that one. All right, so next up are soft books. And I have three different ones here, but I wanna show you my favorite one that I think is definitely worth it. And this one actually comes with the Love Every subscription box that you get every two months. So this came in a three to four month one and this is their soft book. All right, so when you open it up right here, you can see it's got a ton of different like bright colors, different textures. So first off, when you open up the flap, you can do a mirror in there and you can switch those out too. And then when you go over here, you get like rattles, crinkle paper, cause and effect, definitely more bright colors that they can play with. And then contrast pictures. Then here is like, these are also the things that you get on the side of the play mat, which is really cool. I really love this. So this one is just a bunch of different textures right here so they can feel like, oh, they can see that they're all the same color, but they feel differently. So I really like that to it. And then also more contrast pictures, more contrast, and you can change them out too. And then here you can hide things in here and they have to pull them out because this will teach them object permanence because when they're at a young age, they think, oh, especially around like eight, nine months is when they start realizing even with mommy and daddy, that's when they start noticing, oh, mommy and daddy left the room. Are, they're gone. Like if they can't see them, they think that you're gone. So it's the same thing with the ball. Like say if I put a ball in here, she's gonna be like, where'd the ball go? It's left us, like it's gone. It's not here anymore. But she doesn't realize that it's still there. It's just in the pocket. So that's what helps teach them that. Um, but that's also what happens is like with mommies and daddies, when they walk away from the baby, baby doesn't see them, baby starts crying. Cause she's like, they don't really understand that even though that they're in the same room, they think that they're gone because they can't see them. That's when peekaboo really comes into effect and stuff. But this one I recommend the most out of all of them. This one I love the most. I don't know if you can buy that separately on loveeverybaby.com. I'm not sure. I just know I got that in the box. Um, these are other books that I actually got from Bye Bye Baby. And then one of them was a gift. So this is the one that I got her from Bye Bye Baby. This was for Christmas time. And it's called Little Elephant's Blankie. And it's just got like different um, little things here. Like look at Peekaboo with the little mirror. And then you got little jingles and stuff. More little things right there. This one's okay. It's just like a nice little like, you know, small little book for her to have fun with, but there's not like a whole lot in it, you know? This was another book that we got as a gift and this one's really, really good. I think this one is my second favorite and this is Hello Baby. And it's got like different crinkle, like the elephant ears crinkle. And then you see, and it says like, where'd you go? And then you then you have a little elephant right here. And it goes, peekaboo, I see you. It's kind of like that same, what's it called? That elephant, the floppy ear elephant that I have that does the songs and stuff for her. It's really cute. And then we have, where am I? Looking for the elephant and realizing there is the elephant's face. So here I am. So again, a lot of really fun little things in this one, but still I recommend the Love Everyone the most, but I think that one's definitely my second favorite. That is another really good thing to start getting them used to, but I honestly have to say that they're not really gonna start using it a ton until later on but right now it's a good one to introduce to them. All right, so last but not least are these blocks that I have here and we learned that these are really good because we had the noggin stick, which is great for the, her eye coordination because it changes colors and then I also do repetition with it, like saying follow blue, here's blue and then I'll move it and then it turns to green and then I say follow green. But um, it also has a rattle to it and she grasps it easily, but it's hard, <laughs> so our problem with that is that she actually went and bumped herself on the lip with it and she learned the cause and effect of that so she got to feel pain for the first time and oh, I felt so bad for her. I got her to calm down really quickly, but I just felt so bad and I was like, okay. Luckily, that wasn't with me. That was Joel supervising her. If, she, if I was supervising her, that would not have happened. <laughs> We'll see. But at that point, we saw that she was lifting things up and moving them, but she doesn't have the coordination yet to like not hit herself in the face. So we want to give her something softer. And that's where these work out really, really well. These are the soft blocks and these are from Infantino. 
Um, you can actually get these on Amazon for like $9. Like, I think it was like $9.99. I will have everything linked down below for you guys. But you get four of them and they all like kind of jingle and they have different textures. They also have the high contrast pictures. Like look at the little docks in there. And then the dots. And then you also have a letters like D for dog. And then four because they go like one, two, three, four. And then it has a little ring that she can grab on and she can throw it around. And if she accidentally hits herself, it's soft, so it's not gonna hurt her. So that's awesome. So it comes with different ones. Here's another one right here. This one's B for bird. You can see the bird it also has like a crinkle like wing and then stripes. And then we have like the number two. So this is also where she can grab it onto. But she really likes this one because it's a, like an easy ring. But these are really, really good for them right now because they don't have that coordination and that when they do accidentally hit themselves in the face, it's not going to hurt them. So highly recommend the soft blocks right now, you guys. And plus I have one in like, I had one in this room. I have one in my bedroom. I have ones downstairs. I am everywhere in this house because she loves them and it helps keep her entertained for a while. But that is everything that I recommend for three months right now that I think it's really good to start working with them because you wanna be doing tummy time. You wanna be having them practice sitting up. You want them to start grasping more. And then also the bandana bibs will save you like big time and they I swear these are like the cutest prints ever but I hope this video helped you guys I wanted to really narrow it down on the products of what you actually need and then I'm also planning on doing a video in the future about what you think you may need that you don't need <laughs> so I have like I you guys know I went crazy in the beginning I had so much fun with it so I don't regret it but there are a few things that I totally did not need and I want to be able to save you guys money let you know what you do not need for babies and even ways to find more budget friendly options too that I've been like keeping an eye out for so let me know if you guys really want to see that video I can film that this week for you guys and get that up too but just let me know in the comments down below but that is definitely one that I want to film. So let me know how soon you guys want to see that in the comments down below. I am more than happy to film that as soon as possible for you guys because anything to save money, especially because kids are so expensive and just really narrowing down what you actually need in your house. And so that way you don't have too much clutter too, which is a nice thing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also feel free to share this video with your friends that are either pregnant or just like having babies right now. So that way they can save some money and here like find some little good tips and tricks and everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.